What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with Recreating History. We're on to the third episode now. We've had, of course, Milano San Remo. We won that with Christoph. We then failed in our bid to recreate history with Fabian Cancellara. But today we have Paris Roubaix, which was won by Nikki Terpstra. So Terpstra actually did win this one solo back in 2014, beating the likes of Cancellara, Sagan, his teammate Tom Bonin as well. So let's see if we can do that here today. And looking at the start list very quickly, we have the strongest team here. And it's strange because Bonin is a clearly stronger rider than Nicky Terpstra, but we need to try and win it with Terpstra. Uh, we also have Stebar, Vandenberg, a young Matteo Trentin as well. Really strong team here uh, for Amiga Pharma Quick Step, but the likes of Sky are here with Wiggins, Garrett Thomas and EBH. Fabian Cancellara is going to be so difficult to beat. I know I didn't win the Ronda with him, but look at his attributes, so good. We have Seth Van Marker for Belkin. GVA is here, he wasn't really anywhere near winning in 2014, but the likes of Christoph could be a challenger. We have John Dagenkolb, Langeveld as well, who was right up there in the top 10. Arnold Tomar maybe for FDJ as well could be an option. We then have Pozzato for Lamprey, maybe an outsider today, but Peter Sagan doesn't really have any real team support, but of course he will be a contender. Looking further down, you can see the full start list. We have Heinrich Hauser for I Am Cycling. Tinkoff here, Michael Morco is there. Uh, Leukemans, he's a decent rider uh, for 1T77 Cobble right there. Yannick Martinez, maybe. I think he got a good top 20 back in 2014. Anyhow, Kofidis, Astonara here, and top sports with a young Yves Lampert. As always, guys, I will have a link to this start list in my Discord server, so head over there. I'll leave a link in the comments uh, so you can join up and download the start list if you're interested in playing this race yourself. And one other thing before we get underway, I will also leave a link uh, to how the race was won uh, by Cosmo Catalano. Really good watch, five minute watch. So you can take a look back if you wish to the 2014 highlights and see how Terpstra did win this race back in 2014. Underway we go then here for the hell of the North and we're very lucky because Nicky Terpstra gets a plus two day. Poor day for Trenton, but Boonen is looking fine. Stebar on a decent day as well, but Terpstra, that is exactly what we needed a plus two for him. We're not gonna go in the early breakaway. We'll just keep our guys back in the main group. So for some reason, the breakaway has been very aggressively chased in here. Usually the breakaway goes quite early. It's not too dangerous at Paris Bay, but you can see we're gonna have around 10 riders, including a very young Florian Seneschal up the roads. We have made it then to the first cobbled set. So 160K still to go and that breakaway really don't have a big lead at all two minutes and maybe we could try and bridge that gap with someone okay so i have been relaying on the front to this point but johan afredo has just attacked up the road i'm going to try and grab his wheel here with guillaume van keel's book there you go let's grab his wheel and surely this means we don't need to do any relaying at all in the main group mice can protect on boonen and the rest of our guys can just sit in conserve their energy because we now have a rider in the breakaway. Taylor Finney does attack as well to join this group and it's going to be a 16 man breakaway. So here we are, we have now joined that group with Van Keel's book and look how fresh the rest of our guys now look. So this seems to be working pretty perfectly. One thing I have noticed when the AI are controlling quick step or a strong team at Perry Bay, they never seem to quite maximize uh, their strength in numbers. So hopefully we can do that today. And this idea seems to be becoming quite popular because as Cannondale are relaying on the front, we have Orica, Hausler trying to get up the road for I Am Cycling, Ladanu as well, uh, to join that original or kind of new breakaway. Van Kiel's book even is looking pretty fresh. I thought we'd have to give him up to put him in this group, but he still looks pretty strong right now. Of course, a long way still to go as Lars Boom does withdraw. So this is going to be a pretty crucial section of the race because we are now entering the infamous Arenberg sector. Let's put all our guys but Terpstra up to 70. I think Terpstra can try and stay on 65. Let's just try and again conserve energy, watch for any big moves that go off the front. 
Still over a minute to that breakaway. Frank Hills book looking fresh as well, so he can definitely help us out later in the race. No moves going off for now, um, and we all seem to be pretty safe at the front of the main group. Oh, and we did just have a fall that we just missed. Hausler, Mikhail Scher as well, a T-Mobile legend does go down. Uh, but luckily, all our guys still luckily have just uh, stayed very safe in this race. No falls, no punctures, and we look absolutely great. Mize and Trenton starting to struggle a little bit, but uh, we look brilliant, it must be said. Okay, so a quick acceleration sees Nicola Mice and quite a few others out the back for the day. Vandenberg, Bonin and Stebar are now by themselves without protection. I will try and grab some water pretty quickly here with Stein, Vandenberg, Van Kills, but still remains up the road. We have 70k to go and we're yet to see any decisive moves in this race. But, uh, but Jasper Stuyven now upping the tempo for his teammates uh, further back. Okay, and this is really happening right now because we've just seen a move from Christoph. I know Sagan just tries an attack as well. I tried to grab some water, uh, but it was completely impossible with the tempo in this race. 33 riders in this group right now, and everything again does slow and come back together in the main peloton. We have just 11 left from that breakaway. Okay, and here we go. It is definitely on right now uh, because Set Van Marker has attacked to that breakaway. I won't work with him with Van Kiel's book. In fact, it is all slowly coming back together. Terpstra is towards the back of this group, but that should be fine as Sagan is the next to try and bridge the gap to that breakaway. We have a few others as well trying to do the same, and this is all happening. I'm not quite sure who is in which group right here. Everything does start to come back together, so Van Kiel's book can try and tempo on the front. There you go. Let's go like this. Up the road, we now have Afredo, Sagan, Van Marker, and Matt Heyman, of course, a winner of this race. So we have a decision to make right now. We have 24 riders left in the front group. The likes of Christoph already is out the back. So some very, very good riders uh, in there. Just 24 here, including quite a few from that breakaway. We have five riders here and some very dangerous riders up the road, Van Marker and Sagan. But I think we have the numbers. We don't necessarily need to bring them in straight away. Let's stay calm. Um, and try and just set a steady rhythm, keeping most of our guys here. And you can see the other teams are really relying on us. We've lost Van Kielsbrook right now. Uh, we have Stein Vandenberger working down to 18 riders here. So we have been setting a tempo because a few guys have been dropped. But 50 seconds to Alfredo, Sagan and Van Marker. As Sepp Van Marker makes his bid to win Parry Roubaix attacking away from these guys, Alfredo. I fear will not be able to follow this. Okay, and we're now starting to see a few other teams panic because Marcus Burkhardt is really setting a hard rhythm. Who is that for? GVA, of course, further back in this group. You can see he is burying himself to try and catch that three-man breakaway. Afredo is still up the roads and their gap is now down to 40 seconds. So just to quickly analyse the contenders left here, you can see Pizzato is here, Langefeld, Wiggins here, looking like he's being protected by Geraint Thomas, Paolini, Damar, Lukemans is a good rider, Dagen Kolb, Cancellara, probably the favourite still, in my opinion, um, as Burkhardt and Vandenberg are relaying on the front, still 40 seconds, we're going to have to try something on these final cobbled sectors. Okay, and here we go, Vandenberg is done, and Geraint Thomas is now setting a rhythm on the front, as well as Terpstra is going to try and push this to 84, Cancellara is trying to push away as well, from this group. Let's just try and catch those guys right now with Terpstra if we can. Stebar doing a brilliant job protecting the Dutchman as Set Van Marker attacks again. Afredo struggling. There goes Cancellara as well. Of course, a very dangerous rider here at the hell of the north, but we're still in this group looking pretty good. Stebar almost done, down to 13 riders right now. Afredo has finally been dropped. He did a great job today um, as Stebar can now come and relay on the front. Boonen not looking great but Terpstra looking just fantastic. He has so much energy right now. Stebar can go to 85. Boonen is going to have to protect Terpstra. He is feeling so much better than the great Tom Boonen as we still have 35 seconds to make up to Van Marker and Sagan but have they gone a little early? Luckily the puncture comes 
um, and it's for a rider much further back. So Pizzato and Alfredo are now going out the back and Tom Boonen ups this right now to 87. The car for a five star sector. We don't have many of these left. Boonen up to 90 right now and you can see so many riders are gone. Sagan is gone. Boonen try a little push out of that sector right here up to 92. We have eight riders at the front. Sagan completely gone for the day as Greg Van Avmat is going for the win here at Paris-Roubaix. 14k to go. We're going to try and use Tom Boonen whilst he's still here. So Dagen Kolb, Wiggins, Damar, Cancellara and Terpstra are still here. Great rides by Arnold Tamar, it must be said. But here we go, Boonen is done. There goes Nicky Terpstra uh, trying to attack up to GVA and past him even. Cancellara is able to follow Zamar Wiggins and Dane Kolb try to do the same. We have three riders at the front, but back to six. And that is not ideal. Let's follow Cancellara Terpstra. Does have a lot of energy right here. I expect Fabian Cancellara does as well. GVA is here too. We have three riders looking the strongest. These guys trying to make the decisive move. Can Terpstra follow? He's struggling to right now. GVA and Cancellara trying to go for the win in Paris Roubaix. GVA, uh, GVA is done. We need to get to Cancellara's wheel with Terpstra as everyone else is dropped. Cancellara is so, so strong. We're running very low on yellow. I just need to get to his wheel right now. Can we do it? We're just about there, are we? There you go, Terpstra on the wheel of Cancellara. GVA won't get back on, neither will Arnold Zamar. Let's just sit here on the wheel of the favourite. He is the better sprinter. It's Terpstra versus our man from the previous episodes, Fabian Cancellara Spartacus versus Nicky Terpstra. We surely need to try something that's come to the top of this velodrome. Try and sprint right now. Looping down to the bottom, Terpstra versus Cancellara. And Nicky Terpstra is going to win Paris-Roubaix, beating Fabian Cancellara. You love to see it. What a wonderful victory and wonderful race that was. I've got to say it, guys. That was one of my favourites, if not my favourites, Paris-Roubaix I've played here on PCM. So close between Cancellara and Terpstra. Everyone else was so far behind. Look at these time gaps. We blew everything up, having Stebar, Boonen, and of course, Stein Vandenberg pacing as well. Everyone did their jobs in this quick step team so well, and Terpstra somehow was strong enough to chase down Cancellara after dropping GVA, and then he just had more than the Swiss in the sprints. But anyhow, guys, I really hope you are enjoying this series. We have Two more episodes to go. Next time, we will have Liège, Baston Liège, where we'll try and recreate Simon Guerin's win um, over in Belgium. But if you enjoyed today, smash that like button, drop a sub to my channel as well if you're new, and I will see you in the next one.